Hi, I'm Lars Hoffman. I'm here at ICANN 54 with uh, Keith Dreisack. We are wrapping up here in Dublin, Keith. Um, you're a member of the Registry Stakeholder Group. That's right. Uh, you've just joined the Genesis Council. Yes. And so uh, I was wondering, the Registry Stakeholder Group, what role do they play in the, in the GNSO? Yeah, thank you, Lars. Uh, glad to be here and uh, very excited to be uh, joining the Council for the first time. Uh, I've uh, been uh, the, recently the chair of the Registry Stakeholder Group for the last three years. Uh, and uh, the registries are one of the contracted party house, uh, along with our customers, the registrars. Uh, and uh, as such, we form uh, together one half of the bicameral structure of uh, the GNSO and the GNSO Council. So over the last three years, the Registry Stakeholder Group has grown from 17 members to over 100 with the introduction of the new GTLD program. Uh, so quite a dramatic change. And uh, it's interesting that the dynamics within our stakeholder group are changing accordingly. We have now uh, registries that are not traditional registries in the historical sense, uh, but that are uh, dot brand registries, for example, and those interested in uh, geographically specific TLDs. And each one of these new entrants to our uh, stakeholder group and to the community has its unique interests. It's, uh, it's been a fascinating time. Great. Thank you. Um, for those people who are maybe not necessarily familiar um, with the domain name system as much as others, um, I understand you've been also on the CCNSO Council beforehand. That's right. Uh, I've been in the ICANN community since the year 2000. Uh, so uh, we've, uh, o over the course of um, many years, I've had different jobs and different roles within the ICANN community. Uh, at one time, I worked for a registry operator who uh, operated a CCTLD, a country code top-level domain, uh, that, um, and I was uh, representing that registry and that CCTLD on the CCNSO Council. So I'm very excited now to uh, be moving to the GNSO Council, where the generic top-level domains uh, develop policy. Uh, and um, it's, a, it's a fascinating uh, opportunity, and there is a, sub a significant difference between the CCNSO and the GNSO, uh, in that the GNSO is actually uh, comprised or composed of uh, a number of different individual stakeholder groups with their unique interests and perspectives, uh, whereas the CCNSO is largely a group of country code registry operators. Uh, each has its own policy development processes, but they're um, significantly different in the way that they are developed and certainly in terms of uh, the way are they, they are implemented. Thank you. And um, on the GNSA Council, you are elected for two years. Um, what do you think are the, uh, the key issues that the Council will be dealing with over that period of time? It's uh, certainly there's going to be a number of different reviews that are taking place. Uh, review of the uh, new GTLD program certainly is going to be a big one <clears throat> with the GNSO developing uh, policy for generic top-level domains and the introduction of the new GTLD program uh, there's going to be a very important set of reviews coming up and uh, the entire GNSO community I'm sure will be interested in uh, tracking that and uh, in, you know, providing input to that process a topic of interest in ICANN for many years has been who is for most people that have followed uh, the ICANN community and the development of uh, GTLD policy and DNS policy, uh, who is is a long-standing uh, concern. Uh, and it, there are a number of different who is related tracks at the moment, uh, many of them intertwined, some of them overlapping. Uh, the development of RDAP and the uh, implementation or the, of the expert working group recommendations are all things that are currently uh, on the schedule for consideration and for development. Uh, and I think who is, as it has been for many years, will continue to be a big topic of uh, concern and focus for the community. Okay. Keith, thank you much for your time. And uh, I hope I see you at the next meeting in Marrakesh. Thank you, Lars. Thank Glad you. to be here.